So, okay, class of 1984. This yeah. is. We, I know some people know. No, Memorial. some I people am. are huge fans. Others are not necessarily. Oh, I've never fans. heard of people who weren't fans. Why aren't they fans? Well, he, he's no. a little squeamish. I like to know. No, no, he's no, a little squeamish. You know, it, it, the whole inquiring mind. It, it, <laughs> just, you know, it, it was a little, just a little too disturbing for me. I, I wasn't really, really a big oh, fan of those. Oh, if it's disturbing, and... that doesn't bother me. I thought you meant like on another level. Oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. And like also, I mean, for, for 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 punk kids, I mean, it's weird. It kind of has this cross. Okay, okay. So these punk kids who are at this school who are kind of terrorizing the teacher and, and all their classmates and. Blackboard Jungle. Yeah, it's it, Blackboard Jungle. It was yeah, yeah. an '80s version of Blackboard Jungle. With how brilliant to bring in Roddy McDowell. Well, right. oh, that's so good. Love Roddy. Yeah. So good. I, I and love wasn't this movie. he good in that movie? He oh, is. So he is the, and I got to do a scene opposite him. Yeah, that, so, that scene that, where that, he's, That's where it gets yeah, really scary. Got a gun when, to when, you, yeah. when you're with a, an actor that you know that they, they they can get right in touch with their soul and be in the moment, be vulnerable. <laughs> and so you're going. I, I, I can't be distracted by any of that because that means I'll be acting. I better really just think right. of the story. <laughs> yeah, and that, that for me that was a very scary scene because yeah, what does one do when they've got a gun to their head and there's a maniac and you've got to get the right answer? Yeah, and this that is a teacher a that has been. That was a very hard scene yeah. for me. Yeah, you know? this is like what he holds the, he holds this, his class at gunpoint. Yeah, he's he's been pushed to the brink. For sure, what they did to the, the, the punk the animals, gang yeah. has killed yeah. his animals that he keeps From in his classroom. Class, yeah. And so he has gone over the brink, and now he's got a gun, and he's teaching class at gunpoint, and. Doing very well. <laughs> yeah. You guys you know, get the right answer. You know, in LA he'd be tenured. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the yeah, he would lose, lose his job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but when we started that movie, I thought, oh, I live in Canada, and this is so far fetched. Where would they have like you know people carrying guns to school? Yeah, yeah, right. Right. now, yeah. Where would that happen? I know. No, this was directed by Mark Lester. He he did brought us such classics as like Roller Boogie, uh, Boogie with Roller Linda, Boogie. yeah, with Linda Blair, <laughs> Firestarter with Drew Barrymore, and um, Tom Holland. Script. Yeah, Tom right. Holland's script. Tom, Tom Holland, who was Tom a guest. Holland. Who was a guest on our Tom show. Holland. That's right. Yes. Now, yes. where was that shot? It was shot in Toronto. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you played Patsy the Punk. Yeah, and they originally and... brought me in for that uh, Michael Fox's friend, the, <gasps> the girl next door. Oh, the, the, the okay. clarinet player. And, oh. And I said, please. Yeah. I'm yeah. just so tired of playing the girl next door. I don't even have to open my mouth to do these parts. Mm -hmm. I, please. Shouldn't have said that. And they said, but we just don't, <laughs> we just don't, we don't, we just don't see you that way. I said, look, I've got four older brothers, and they've got friends. I can, I can be those. And, I've seen and, those kind of people. I can do it. And they said, okay, come back, and if you can do it. And I came back, and I got the part. And, and you, you own that role. Like I mean, you stand yeah. up yes. so much. Yeah. You're pretty annoying. You're, you're, you're like the little touches yeah, yeah. that you do. Yeah. I would say you and drugstore are the most interesting of that group. And mm -hmm. and you know what? We were the most like the people that weren't given any dialogue. And that was the first time that I gave myself the permission. Because I used to always, you know, Canadians, we do what we're told, okay? okay we like to sure. follow rules. The big Canadian joke is, how do you get 100 Canadians out of the pool? Would you please get out of the pool now? <laughs> 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 I never felt I had the permission to, to improvise. Or do, and so I, I'm looking at this character, and I'm just there all the time. And right. so every movement that I do, like whether it's this, or this, or jumping around while they're getting killed, is all what I made up. And anything I say, like, I like to watch, because I had no dialogue, and it was wow. very frustrating because the the the, the um, stunt coordinator was Terry Leonard, the guy who had done the uh, st uh, for Indiana Jones. Like he climbed underneath the stagecoach. Oh, oh yeah, so he's wow. very well known. Mm -hmm. in. Yeah. And so so anytime there was a fight scene, I was not included, and I, I just did not get that because uh -huh. I'm part of the gang, so I had to find something to do. Mm -hmm. And the only time, uh, there's two times I I excluded myself there for safety reasons. One is. Um, when they had that big uh, rumble uh, underneath the um, yeah uh, the bridges the games, yeah, yeah. The two bridges yeah um, it was raining and freezing cold <laughs> so I stayed in the trailer because they never gave me anything to do anyway and I read Shelley um, um, Winter's uh, biography oh okay. that's oh, what wow. I was doing <laughs> Cassie was reading that but the <laughs> other scene where I, you don't see me is in that punk dance scene where they're slamming one sure. another. Matt's favorite scene. Not my favorite scene. No, I, I mean, you're I, Mr. Punk. I, I grew <laughs> up, like I said, with four brothers who were notorious in the town and 
I, they were the type where like, you don't want to date her. You know who her brothers are. <laughs> but now I'm in the big city, and they don't know. I don't have my brothers with me, and I'm I'm wearing like colors and punks at that time were wearing really in in Toronto black and white. Yeah. Did they so use they, really they, some real they, real punk? They didn't kids. have any professional actors. They are all real people, and the wow, punk really? girls were saying to me. You know what? You're not real. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you when you're by yourself. We're gonna get you when you're by yourself. No way. Of course you're not real. You're an actress in a fucking movie. (laughs) So, so I knew when they had that dance scene that I would get it. Yeah. Right. Right. So I made myself very scarce. I I hid during that. You you do not see me in in that scene. But that's because I was. Weren't these Canadian punks? Oh, all well, that's a very good point. Please, <laughs> please don't come get me. <laughs> yeah. when, when they met, they're going to get you. They're going to be very rude. It's going to be some harsh language. No, no, no. These, these, these were like uh, women from Locked Up. Oh, Locked Up Raw. Okay. They, they were the women yeah. from Locked Up from Raw. From Raw, wow. Locked Up Raw. That's, yeah. that's what they were. And it, it's kind of like I had a feeling. But, you know, I've watched that film, and I looked at some of the punks, because I was I was into the whole, yeah. I was I was into that yeah. at that time. Yeah, Matt scene. And, and time, I looked at those guys, and I was like, these, you know, these guys aren't the most punk guys either. I mean, <laughs> even the band Teenage Head, they got for the movie. Not the most punk band you've ever heard. Well, the Canadian punk, eh? Hey, you know what, Matt? For me, though, that that was kind of a scary punk thing. But but wow. but I'm glad you never went to a real punk. But I will say this right. though, it was, I was scary you know, I, 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 it was a little weird. I mean, I mean, you had a lot of like makeup and glitter. I mean, it was kind of like people were threatening you. I knew that was wrong. I knew that was wrong. But let's face it, my makeup artist, she was like, looks like she's in her fifties, and I'm thinking. She doesn't know she's <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 then, and then the head makeup artist, he was like, you know, gay and he, like in his 60s. And he hired her, and I'm thinking, I remember you from commercials, and you do really great natural makeup. And then he Don't was, tell me about punk. I know punk. Here, here was the horror story of all horror stories. So. So she's doing my makeup, and she, the, the poor woman, all, all this stuff was going on in her, in her life, and she actually apologized to me later, and because she lost her house, and mm-hmm. so while this was all going on in her personal life, it was affecting her per- professional life. So she started asking me like, so like I get in the chair in the morning. So what what makeup were you wearing in that scene? What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, said, uh, really? So don't you have the Polaroids? I lost them. Oh. oh. Then, then the next level was one time she lost her whole makeup kit. I, st- <laughs> I, I, st- I went to the, the med- head makeup artist. And wow. I started crying. Really? Oh, because God. it was like it, it, it was a matter of being an artist and, and, and matching. Yeah, sure. And, and 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 yeah, I thought it was pretty wild the kind of makeup and not realistic at all. Yeah. Um, it was more like new wave punk than it like was, hardcore it, it, glam. I mean, it, 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 you yeah. know, it was like okay, let's let's go with this. It's like a clockwork orange. Yeah, yeah. but 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 also you know. I wish I kept the costumes now. Yeah. <laughs> I did me too. <laughs> my, 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 my son was 15. We, we've now said that now on Friday, Saturday night is, is uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, but on Friday night so we should start doing classes on TV. Oh, yes. And we can all get dressed up. Yes. But I don't have my whatever that weight <laughs> shoulder thing was. Wing but can I just say, for <laughs> as much as you know, maybe you weren't whatever was considered punk at that time, <clears throat> Timothy, Van, Van Pat, Timothy Van Patten, who I love in that movie, yeah. directs uh, Boardwalk. Right. He's, he's great. Yeah. I love him. Vinyl. Um, that Rick Vinyl too. I think so. Yeah. 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 How he was dressed in that thing? <laughs> on, he's supposed to be punk, no, head he, of the no, band, no, a little he, whamish. He yeah. Wanted to, he, no, he wanted that. He yeah, really, really, really. He, that? He, he he wanted to be more sophisticated and kind of like <laughs> the guy who plays the piano, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. did not, and he, he also really didn't want to be an actor anymore at that point. Really, really. He was, so he, good he, that, he was doing decathlons. He he, wow. he so didn't want to be acting, and I remember uh, him saying, "Yeah, they want me to fly back to L.A. to audition for Grease with Michelle Pfeiffer." I so don't want to do that. He did not. He was not interested at all. Really. Wow. And so I'm really glad that he found something that he liked, yeah. and I really yeah, yeah. liked him. And and he was so empathetic, and it was a really hard role, I think, for him to play the balance between, you know, playing somebody who's, you know, that. Um, 
you know, obviously very really high Q, but kind of crazy. And, yeah. And, full, yeah. and fooling people, you know, yeah. you know, the right people. And, and, and everything kept going too. wrong there too, because it was it was just like such a, a bad production. Um, oh, so you didn't have, you didn't have a good time on that? Oh, uh, it was one of the most unhappy experiences. Really? Of really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Because um, so first of all, I, I've never been paid any residuals to that film. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, wow. I don't know the Americans, but like DVD and and and, and, and like I'm saying it now. And, and that's why I, I have a big resentment for because like you know DVD and VHS and all that stuff and television never, yeah. and we were lied to and, and and the extras were treated really badly exploited and like they literally the, their craft table was a vat of jam a vat of peanut butter and loaves of bread <laughs> wow. just so and awful terrible. and and so like Tim Van Patten and I would go like all the time like oh just, this is just so awful and, like that girl in the coke scene she had to take off her clothes yeah, yeah. she didn't want to be doing that oh. but somehow she did agree to it and I remember the makeup artist who was my makeup artist making her up saying look nobody's going to ever recognize you they're not going to see you they're not going to recognize you after I get done with your makeup and so when she, <laughs> was take, the she, was, <laughs> when she was taking off her clothes she was trembling wow. and Timothy Van Patten and I said and it took and, and so of course I made up the line I like to watch or make her take her clothes off yeah but it felt so painful for me to say that Wow. And and we it it was it was it, it, it was like the wild wild west like for example when when um, Roddy McDowell was driving that car yeah yes I was I was running for real for fear because <laughs> oh. he was not a stunt driver that's right I remember Tom Holly had told us when we had him on our show on our show that yet yeah, Roddy McDowell wanted to do a lot of the driving himself, himself. Stuff. so he was driving. actually driving the car and I was actually running for my life wow wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, that would not happen with the Screen Actors Guild in the United States. No, right. Uh, you know, the That's union so out there is much more right. powerful. <laughs> they, they have, like, regulations about news scenes and, and stunts right. and all that stuff, but they, they didn't then. And um, so that, it, I, I, I was very un, uh, uh, unhappy, um, very, very because also it, it just, I was used to working with directors who knew what they wanted and, um, you, you know, the, the, the indecision and... Um, and what's interesting about drugstore is, I was actually af- I told him this recently on Facebook. I was actually afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was the real thing. Wow. I did. And and Keith Knight actually didn't have that part initially. There was another guy cast who was much more buff. And I don't know how this happened, because you would think that again he would have been told at the audition. But when after he got the part, they said he had to shave his head. He wouldn't oh. do it. Oh. And I guess. You know, he thought they'd still have him. He said, I'm not shaving my head. And they replaced him with Keith, mm-hmm. who I love. Who's yeah. great. It's like yeah. this, this ox of a man, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the other guy was like buff ox. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's funny now watching Michael J. Fox in that because he's, he was Michael Fox. Michael Fox yeah, at the time. Because he's so sort He's got this baby fat. Yeah. And he lost yeah. Baby fat, but he was smoking and drinking like it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's like, are you really doing this? Or is it because you look so baby faced and you're so short and you're just trying to. Wow. You know, but he was, a, wow. he, he was a really, really nice guy, but I was thinking, okay, are you doing this because you like it and it's for real, or are you doing this because you're so short and... You know, baby <laughs> trying to front a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I never knew, he, but he, he was really nice. He was saying, ah, I could have been one of the punks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is just so solid, though, in that movie. That's yeah, I mean, that I, 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 acting across ooh, the board, yeah. I love everybody. Ne- Neil Clifford, here's another really unhappy moment. The guy's wife is at the hospital having their first baby, and they won't even leave, let him leave the set. Oh, oh no. You know, that's the kind of, so it was wow. so, you know, this pent-up unhappiness that we all had. Well, I mean, regardless of the, all the turmoil behind the cameras, I mean, the end result, I mean, the movie is a really... I mean, it's a well, cult classic. Really it's, it's a cult classic. You're, you're so it, memorable. And you are you really, really are memorable. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, mean like, you really stand like, out. I mean, that is... A character that you are just riveted to from the beginning that, to the end. That feels end. really yeah. good because I was really afraid when that movie came out, and I was again so scary. Really, really afraid of my, you know, my people that I work with with Claude Chabrol, like what would they, what they would think. And I remember them saying, "You are really good," you know. <laughs> and I'm, you know, that's because you're French and I'm playing Americana. But um, the biggest compliment I got it was recently. Um, uh, Stefan Arngrim uh, Facebooked me and he says he's been in touch with this girl who uh, is an artist and has given him some great art uh, um, uh, on class of 1984 and she said that when she gets down she just takes out her inner patsy uh, <laughs> and, and, and then what's great. really funny too is my 15 year old uh, he, he 
shows on his phone he has a picture of me as Patsy. And he, <laughs> <laughs> he always says to people, "This is my mother." You are the, the mixture of sexiness and how terrifying your character is. That's yeah. really who I am, but people uh, <laughs> ask me the other way, and like my manager knows that that's part of me, and my brothers, and especially my mother know knows me like that, and as this friend of mine said, Lisa, everyone thinks you're really nice, but you're actually really mean. <laughs> <laughs>